the jungle canopy of central Panama, here on the summit of Cerro Brusta. Here is where Drake climbed the tree in February 1572. The final video by Mr. Michael Turner, the teacher of physical education and humanities, being religious education, geography and history. Religion drove Sir Francis Drake to obtain wealth. He was at war, a religious war, against the Catholics with his newly founded religion set up by Henry VIII. And Drake came here after suffering a massacre at Veracruz in Mexico in 1568. So here in 1572, in February, Drake is looking for revenge by robbing the mule trains of gold and silver. He does not have a successful robbery because alcohol got in the way and warned the Spaniards that he was uh, coming to rob them. Anyway, en route, he arrived here at nearly 3,000 feet high and the trees around us were cut down and the trees you've just seen on the video about 30 feet high typically with stiff thick branches supported benches and 10 men from where Drake saw the two oceans and we arrived here this morning at 10 o'clock the same time as Drake Revive tells us in the primary sources remember you learned primary sources in year seven and Drake saw the two oceans and it inspired him to sail into the Pacific. Years ago when I first started traveling, a person said to me, she said, your last journey is just a memory. A rich man in Miami said to me, the next place, then the next place, so what? So I thought very deeply and I thought, I'm not going to be accused of those negative waves. So I then became a Drakeologist because I saw Drake's picture in the fortress in Mexico, Veracruz, in 1980, and I've been draking around the world ever since. There are about seven billion people in this world, and I feel special that I'm the only person who studies Francis Drake that goes around the world a draking. And this expedition is a result of Ray Acker of the Drake Navigators Guild in California pinpointing this mountain as the equidistant point along a ridge where Drake would have seen the two oceans. Caleb Duckworth, the expedition leader with the flag here, he has come here twice before at my behest and encouragement and he has blazed the trail and I flew over from England and we have an expedition of a Englishman, a Panamanian, we've got an Englishman and a neutral Dutch observer and this is truly an international expedition making us possibly 99.9% .9 sure that we are the first English expedition to pay homage to Sir Francis Drake over 400 years later. And my message is to you is go and see the world in your holidays. Don't waste money on cigarettes, tobacco, drugs, alcohol. Save your money, use your holidays and try and do a unique journey. And if you want more details about Michael Turner please visit our Drake website in Drake Wake, in drakeswake.com and also click on the society that we founded on the 400th anniversary of Drake's death. And I really hope our videos inspire you. Thank you for watching. Fin.